cropstop.com and I just want to show you how to make a quick card using your Threading Water Fiskars uh, Border Punch and a Martha Stewart uh, um, Butterfly Punch and we're going to use the uh, Cricut Create a Critter. This is like probably the most famous and favorite of all cartridges on every blog and every website you look at. This is like the all-time favorite and you know what? It's mine too. Well, let's get started making this card. Now, what you're gonna, if you have a Cricut machine and you've got this Create a Critter, I used the bear that's on page 27. I call it number 4 because that's the button it is. And it's in layers, which is really cool because you cut the background, layer 1, layer 2, ta-da, you've got a bear. So I've already gone ahead and done that. And then the next thing I did was I cut some strips of paper. Now I just went through my stash and grabbed paper. There was no rhyme or reason except for colors. And we're just going to go ahead and put it in our Fisker Punch. And I think most of you, oh, I just messed that one up. I didn't push my paper in. You have to push your paper all the way to the top. Give her a little punch. And then let me bring this up so you'll know, those of you that maybe don't use the punches too often, they give you this little pattern to follow so that you know in order to get the next row, you need to line those up. And it is just makes life so much easier than trying to guess. And if you miss one like I did, and I do that a lot, just go back and punch them again. There we are. And then we're going to go on the other side and do it. There's also a video out there on Crop Stop that shows you how to go all the way around the corner. So if you want to learn how to do that, just using your border punch, you can do that. There we go. There's that one. I'm going to use four different colors. And again, I just pulled stuff out of my stash. This paper's a little bit thicker than the other ones. That's why you're hearing that loud popping noise. It's not that I'm breaking my border punches. This is a very thick cardstock. There's that one. One more to do. I actually saw this design. A lady named uh, Momo, I think. That's how she says her name. She has a, a site, and she made a card with these little ruffles. And I just loved it, so I decided we'd do one over here. There we go. All right, there's all my little scraps. Let me get everything together, and we'll come back and put our card together. What I went ahead and did, I layered these, and I always go a little bit over because I try to get the little holes of each one of these lined up. And then I just take my scissors and trim off right next to the card all the little excess. I always do it a little bit longer because you never know when I'm going to mess up one of those holes. Alright, get that out of our way. Then you'll notice I have punched myself a hole right here using my little hole punch. And I'm going to do this technique with the ribbon that I learned. I, I always call it the, um, excuse me, I always call it the Naomi knot because that's what I thought the lady's name was. It ended up her name was something else. But anyway, this is how I do it. You put your ribbon around the front and you're going to pull it through the back hole. And this ribbon is way too long for what I'm going to use it for, but I'm going to trim it off so it'll be just fine. And this is going to keep your ribbon from sliding. Then you take your other side, this really long piece, let's just go ahead and trim that off of there, we don't need all that. And I'm going to stick it through the hole as well. There we go. And then you want to just make sure those are straight so it looks nice on that side. And then you just give them a little pull. And I'm going to line it up right with the top of there. Then you're going to leave one on the bottom. Just thread this up through the top. Like that. So there's one on the top and one on the bottom. Then you're just going to tie a knot. Or you can tie a bow. Let's see what looks the best here. I need to probably should have trimmed my cream color a little bit. But you know what? We're just going to leave it like that for now. We'll figure out something. I think I might tie a bow, actually. I've got enough ribbon. No sense wasting it. Well, for goodness sakes. Let's try that again. There we go. A bit smaller so it doesn't take up all the room for my little bear. All right, and we're going to trim that off. There we go. And then, where's my little bear? 
Oh, he's missing. Here he is. So then we're going to put my little bear right there. So let's put some foam tape on that. And I am kind of stingy with my foam tape. I like to use it in just little hunks. So we'll just put it all over. That's for later. Now the reason I use the foam tape, one is for dimension, two is because when you have those layers of paper and the ribbon, if you lay the bear on it, he's not going to stick because there's going to be that air gap between there. So we're going to stick him right there. And we're just going to use some of that black, my Tuxedo Black Memento. I use this ink all the time. Stamp up my little thing here. I'm going to call it It's Your Day. Yeah, it works. And then I've used my Martha Stewart Little Butterfly Punch. I use this little guy a lot. And I had a piece of purple paper here somewhere. There we go. This is what I use my scraps for all the time. Look how nice this will punch. No effort. I love that. I remember the day when you had to use so much effort to get your punches. I used to have to stand on some of them. They were so hard to do. Oh, I might have got that too big. Here we go. All right, let's just stick our little butterflies all over there. There's one. I went ahead and put a little bit of bling on some of these. I'm going to put him going. Where am I going to put him? I think he'll fly up there. I'm going to put the pink one down by that green ribbon. Oops, I don't want to cover my words. There we go. And I think I've got a little silver doodad we'll stick in the middle with that other little butterfly there. This shows you how quick you can go through and use your scraps and make the cutest little card. Oh, I stuck it to my finger. That's not good. There you go. I'm not sure I like that bow. It's really bugging me. Can you tell? I keep messing with it. I don't like it. So I'm just going to cut it, and it's just going to be like that. I'm still not happy. No, I think I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm quite happy with him there. Let's move him over here. Now I think I'm happy. Now there's one more thing I want to do to my card. I want to make sure my knot goes over that hole, though, that I did. We also have glossy accents. And I heard a lady say that she used this on all of her little, some little figures that she would use. She always found a little place to put this. And I thought, how cool of an idea. So I decided that on all my Creator Critter little guys, I would give them a glossy nose. That'll kind of be my little signature for my create a critter, little critters. So when that dries, it'll be a nice little glassy looking nose. Alrighty then. And there is a very quick card using the Fiskars Threading Water Border Punch right there, Martha Stewart's Butterfly, and create a critter the Cricut Machine. Well, that's all I have for you today. You make sure you stop over at Crop Stop. They've got a wonderful arrangement of ribbon. This is one of theirs. And they've got lots of the um, border punches. They've got a lot of the Martha Stewart and a lot of the Fiskers. And just make yourself a card. It's your day. Have a good one. Bye.